Okay, so this video is for the uh, Scamologist Facebook page. Uh, this is a natural ruby. Uh, I've already checked the stone, but I found a few things I want to point out to you guys. So there's a lot going on here, and I'm viewing this currently under 10 power magnification with dark field illumination. And I'm going to use my pointer probe here to point things out. So what we have here is uh, we're trying to figure out, is it a ruby? Well, yes, because I did my, uh, I took an RI of the stone. We have to check to see if the stone is assembled, so we check the girdle plane here. And uh, we check area, other areas of the uh, stone, like just below, or even the crown area. We'll try to fool you sometimes. But, um, but for the most part, what we can see is that there's a lot of natural inclusions here. And I'll point out a few of them. So, I'm going to zoom up to 30 power magnification. And I want to point these first few inclusions out. So these brownie red ones here is, is actually, uh, these are well-formed uh, rutile crystals, or rutile, depending on how you say it. And uh, typically in corundum, what, what, what we'll find is, uh, we'll find uh, apatite crystals, silk. Um, silk is a term to... Oh, there we have some here. I'll let me change the lighting here. Silk is titanium oxide, and silk is also rutile. It can come in a needle. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. So, if you'll notice that there are natural needles, I mean, All in the stone and do you see how they're intersecting at different angles and I want to point out something here uh, this here is actually a cloud of, of uh, silk so it's these bigger needles that you see to the left well that's what's in that cloud formation there to the right and they're all running in different directions most are running in one direction, but some do intersect from time to time. But I just wanted to point these out. Wow. But, um, just to show you what it looks like here. I mean, you can see that cloud right there. Just below all those crystals there that are more toward the surface of the, of the stone. Now, we know this isn't heated because a few things. If we go back to these inclusions here, a little bit easier to see. Rut rutile or rutile, whichever way you want to say it, these here, you'll notice that um, there's no discoid fractures. They're they're untouched. There's nothing, you know, showing us that there is high temperature heat treatment involved because corundum has a high temperature heat treatment. And uh, and with that, back to 10 power here. Um, because rut rutile has such a low melting temperature and corundum has a high temperature, melting melting temperature that is, um, rutile will actually dissolve or explode into what's called a discoid fracture and, uh, and heal during a cooling process. And these are all undisturbed inclusions. And that's actually one piece of evidence that we have to show that these Crystals here are not, um, are, you know, that this, uh, the host's corundum has not been heated. If it has been heated, well, I mean, we would be seeing a lot more here. But I'm just going to go around the stone here a little bit and show you some stuff. Yeah, you see how this one is really well formed here? It's reflecting here, so you're going to see too. Oh, there we go. Really well formed, a lot of good faces on uh, faces. And now, a scientific term for uh, a crystal within a host material, something with well formed faces like an apatite crystal, which you will find in rubies. Um, those are called euhedral shaped crystals. The opposite is anhedral, 
means it lacks a, uh, a crystal face. And if you notice here along the girdle, well, this is just heavily abraded here because the uh, it's been rubbing up against other minerals or gems. But uh, yeah, even some abrasion down here on the surface of the, of the uh, facet junctions. If you don't know what a facet junction is, a facet junction is where uh, where you see these lines. It's where this facet here and this facet come to a common point and they meet, and it creates this this junction here because junction meaning joining. So they join here. So these two join here. These two join here. These two join here, and so on and so forth. And then all four of these facets meet here in the center. But uh, so those are facet junctions. And um, oh, this is really neat stuff. But just to you know, show you guys uh, some more stuff here. Yeah, let's see. So here's the cloud again. You can see it's kind of milky looking. You know, like rose quartz kind of. Uh, it's very milky. It's never clear. Um, but you can even see the tiny little needles. And you want to check the entire stone. You want to check for assembly. You want to check for. Uh, Oh, I mean, a vast majority of things. But if we look here, we have a... Uh, I mean, this is just a poor cutting job here. But you can see that we have one girdle. One girdle is usually an indication that there's no heat. I wouldn't put all my money on that, though, because you can heat a product before you cut it so if they heat it and they get a desired cutter and they a color and they cut it once well you still have one girdle so that's why I don't go too much on that but this does have one girdle I don't see any sintering but um but yeah so just uh I hope you enjoy this little video and uh just to point out again, you can see the cloud of silk here. You'll see silk and those needles that I pointed out earlier in a lot of corundum. If you see the if you see the rutil, um, the needles like I showed you earlier down here, I mean you can see them there. All those fine needles. If you can see that in your uh, in your uh, sapphire or ruby, and there they're all untouched like that, they're, uh, they're undisturbed. Then, uh, there you go, there's that flying cloud of silk or, or rutile or rutile, whichever you prefer. But uh, you know this material is untouched when you see all the needles intact like that. Because remember, rutile or rutile has a lower melting point than corundum and this that would actually dissolve during the heating process and you wouldn't really see those nice straight um, needles like that. Well thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post more on some more stuff.